when you have a catalog of products along with the pictures, you may wish to be able to use XLOOKUP function to look for the item number and return the corresponding product pictures, or vice versa, to look for the pictures and then return the corresponding sales dollar amount. And that can be done. In this video, you are going to learn exactly that. This is the 15th video in the XLOOKUP Inside Out series. If you haven't used XLOOKUP before, I would suggest you to watch at least the first video in the series. This way you will have better understanding of this lesson. You can download the training Excel file from the link in the description below so you can practice online and gain the hands-on skills. If you are practicing online with a downloaded Excel file, this file we're using is Super Excel 15, XLOOKUP, Lookup Picture, and Return Pictures. In this table, we have the product category, item numbers, item description, price, pieces, and soft dollars. And I wish to somehow to show the pictures of those products. And those products, they are listed in my master item list. And I have the item number, item description, along with the pictures. So I could use an XLOOKUP function over here to look for the item number from the column B item number and then return the corresponding picture in column A. Now, some of you might be thinking, how could that be possible? Because a picture will be floating above the cell. It does not reside in the cell. That really depends on how you insert the picture. If you insert the picture properly inside the cell, then those pictures can be referenced by formulas. I will explain to you in a few minutes how to insert picture into the cell properly. For now, let's do the X lookup first. In this cell A2 over here, we are going to do an X lookup. Equal sign, XL, tap key to insert the function. My first argument will be what we're looking for, which will be the cell C2. I'll write, I'll write to set cell C2, comma. My second argument will be that range we're looking within. We're looking for those item number in this sheet in column B, starting from B2, control, shift, arrow down, F4 to make the absolute, then comma. Then the third argument will be the range we want to return, which will be the column A pictures. Let me go to cell A2, control, shift, arrow down, F4 to make the absolute, bottom bracket. So within this formula, we're looking for that item number in cell C2 in this sheet, looking within the column B, and then return corresponding picture in column A. Let me enter. You see, that does give me that watermelon picture for this item, which is red sitness watermelon. Now, if I copy the formula down with a double click, now I get all the pictures. And now they are too small. If I want to make them bigger, I'm going to select all those rows with shift space bar and then right mouse click and go to the row height. I'm making the row height to be 60 to be much taller. So now that much bigger, we can see those images properly. You see, we are able to do X look function to look for an item number and then return the corresponding pictures. Now you may wonder, can we do the opposite? Can we look for a picture written the corresponding information? Yes, we can. Let's pick a few pictures. Maybe the banana, strawberry, cucumber, and tomato. Can't you see to copy that? Then let me paste that in column K over here. Now I cannot do the control V with a regular paste. That will paste the formula and reference will change, then you get a different result. I want to paste a picture, which is a content, the value in the cell, so I will paste as values. Let me go to home tab, go to paste drop down arrow, and paste as values. So now I get the picture over here. And then I want to look for the picture to return the corresponding cell dollar in column G. Now let's do another X lookup, equal sign, XL, tap key to enter the function, left arrow key to set the cell key two, which is that banana picture, comma. I want to look for that within the range of column A. Let me go to A2, control, shift, arrow down, F4, makes the absolute, then comma. Then the third argument will be the range one return the value, which will be the cell starter. Let me go to G2, 
Control Shift arrow down, F4 to make it absolute, and then close and bracket. With that, we're getting the self order for that banana product. If you look at this banana product, the self order is 1015. If I copy the formula down, I will get the other products their corresponding self order amount. For the strawberry, it's a 31,099, exactly the right number. Now with XLOOKUP, when you have multiple matches, it can only return to you the first match. If you want to return multiple matches, you can use the field function, which we talked about in one of the video in this XLOOKUP inside our series. Now, if I say I want to return all the items under the herbs product category, I don't want to return the item number, but I want to return the item picture. So I'm going to use a filter function over here, equal sign, filter, tap to insert the function. The first argument for the filter function will be the range you want to filter and return. We want to return the picture. Let me go to A2, Control, Shift, Arrow down, F4 to make the absolute comma. Then the second argument will be for you to specify the criteria. My criteria is, the product category have to be these herbs. Let me go to B2, Control, Shift, Arrow down, F4, makes absolute. So that have to equal to this cell L6 being the herbs. So that's my criteria. And then close in bracket and enter. You see, that return to me all those herbs product category, their products to show me the pictures. Now, when you use the field function, you can return just one column or multiple column. You can even return all the seven columns from item picture to category, item number, all the way to price, pieces, sales dollars. So if I change the first argument, instead of being A2 to A17, if I change that to G17, so G17, that means all the seven columns. Then this will return all the seven fields for the herbs product category. If I enter, you see we are getting all those seven fields. Now, if you wish this format to return to you only the picture and the cell order without returning the other column in between, you can do that too. You just need to change this field function to make that first argument not being that seven column, but being only that first column being the picture and that seventh column being the cell orders. And that can be done by using a choose cause function. Now, this is a different function. I'm not teaching you this function. I'm giving you a little bit of awareness of this function so you know what's possible. If I actually teach this function, I will spend much more time to explain in detail. So here I'm at a choose cause function. Choose cause function. Tap into the function. And my first argument will be the range you want to choose columns from. We want to choose few columns from this range A2 to G17, and then I will add a comma after that. Now, which column do you want to choose? I want to choose the first column, so one, comma, and also seventh column, so seven, and then close in bracket. So with this chose cause function, it will return to me the first and seventh column of that range. Now, the field is only written to you the two columns. Enter, you say we're getting only the picture and the self dollars. You may not like them to be placed into column, you wish them to be placed into rows, so that can be done with a transpose function to turn the column into a row. Let me go back to the formula to add a transpose function in the front. Transpose, tap into the function. Transpose function has only one argument which is the range you want to transpose. Now let me add a colon bracket and enter. You see the turn them from column into rows. And if I change this product category from herbs into fresh fruits, they will be changing accordingly. If I change to fresh vegetables, they also change accordingly too. So if those pictures, they are in the cell, then you can reference them with formula. Now let's look at how we can insert the picture actually inside the cell instead of being floating above the cell. Let me go to my second sheet. Let's try to insert some pictures. From the cell F2, we are going to insert some pictures. Let's go to Insert tab in the illustration group. Go to Pictures, 
Now you have the option to insert picture to place them in cell. If you place them in cell, then those pictures can be moved, sorted, filtered, and referenced in formula. If you place them above cell, then those pictures do not belong to any cell that are floating above. So now we can use place in cell this device. I have some picture over here. You can insert one picture at one time, or you can insert all the picture. I'm going to insert all the picture, but hold on Control and A to select all the pictures, and then click on Insert. Now you see all the pictures are being inserted. And those pictures are inside the cell, so they can be resized with your row height or column width. If I select those row and make that row to be shorter, you see the picture will be resizing accordingly. And I can also make them to align to the right from home and tab, use the right alignment or align to the middle. Now, if I make those row taller, I can also align them vertically to the top or to the middle or to the bottom. When you double click to go inside the cell, you will see the word picture. And all the picture will have some word, just the pictures. Now, if you accidentally press enter key, now you have changed the content of the cell. On the word picture in the cell, the picture is not there anymore. So let me undo with control Z. If you happen to go in the cell with double click, when you come out, don't press enter. You should press escape key so you're not changing anything. Now, if you do have picture above the cell, you wish to turn into a picture in the cell that can be done too. Let me go to a cell and then insert picture above the cell. Go to insert, illustration, picture. This time will be place over cells, this device. If I choose this watermelon, now this watermelon picture is above the cell. It's not in the cell, but I can right mouse click and then go to place in cell. Now this picture goes inside the cell, so that can be referenced with the formulas. So the key thing is when you insert picture, you have to make sure your insert picture place them in cell rather than over cells. And this is something new. This is only available now in the better channel in the Microsoft Insider program. If you are not in the Insider program, you will not see this feature yet. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so you can learn more. In the next video of the XLOOKUP Inside Out series, you are going to learn how to use XLOOKUP to look from multiple sheets. Because sometimes your data come from different sources in different structure, different format. They cannot be combined into one table in one single sheet. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you.